In the fall of 2016, two influential men in Los Angeles faced money troubles. The head of the L. A office of the U.S. Secret Service, Lorenda Robert Savage III, thought he was being shortchanged in a lawsuit over a defective braking system in his family's Volkswagen minivan. And Tom Girardi, then at the height of his power, was borrowing heavily to fund his law firm and increasingly upset about the size of his wife's American Express bill. To address their respective problems, Savage and Girardi and their spouses turned to each other. Girardi agreed to represent Savage and his wife for free in a bid to extract a larger cash settlement in the minivan case. When his efforts failed, Girardi dug into his own pocket to pay the family at least $7.500. The same month, Savage arranged for Secret Service agents from a financial crime squad to meet with Erica Girardi about what she said were excessive charges to her credit card by a Hollywood costume firm. Agents under Savage aggressively pursued the case, ending in a federal wire fraud indictment of the company's co-owner in 2017 and, for Tom Girardi, an American Express refund of about $787.000 at a time when he was swimming in debt. But prosecutors quietly dropped the case a year and a half ago, after Girardi's law firm collapsed, and questions are only emerging now about the origin of the case and whether there was enough evidence to support criminal charges in the first place. The connections between Girardi and the Secret Service's L Chief were recently uncovered by the Times. Their relationship was not disclosed to the costume firm co-owner, Christopher Salem, who was facing the prospect of years in prison, or his defense counsel. Nor were they informed of the payment Girardi made to the Savages during the investigation, they told the Times. Saley told the Times that after his arrest, he scrutinized every charge his costume company, Marco Marco, made on Erica Girardi's credit card and determined they were all legitimate. He said the unfounded accusations nearly destroyed his business and devastated him personally. The costs, he said, included being turned away when he and his husband attempted to adopt children. I lost complete trust in the justice system, Sayla said.